if you're the Saints defense, how are you covering Kyle Pitts? Is the approach of anybody but Kyle Pitts has to beat us? Yeah, uh, because uh, they don't have uh, the weapons that they've had in the past. I mean, who was the one? Roddy White. Roddy White. Okay, Roddy White. There's no Roddy White. There's no Julio Jones. There's no Calvin Ridley. Uh, they even uh, the receiver from LSU just went to Tampa Bay. Justin Gage. J- uh, Russell, Russell Gage. Gage. Yeah, there's no, I'm telling you, Christian, they heard it. And then their top receiver, who they drafted, Drake London, and, I mean, I don't know, his knee. I mean, I'd go up and jam him and see how they could take that jam. So, uh, that no, uh, uh, that I would take the approach that there's no way Kyle Pitts, okay? We're not leaving him one-on-one. You're never leaving him one-on-one. Now, you might say maybe with Lattimore, and Lattimore needs to. I think Lattimore got humbled last year. And then Kyle Pitts, I want to say at the beginning of the game in the Superdome, he, he dropped a deep ball. It would have been about a 40 some 50 yarder. He let Kyle Pitts get behind him. I think he was kind of shocked how fast Kyle Pitts was, as big as he was. So I, I think Lattimore would be more in, uh, enticed for, uh, or welcome that challenge to go against uh, a Kyle Pitts without no help. But I, I would say. Uh, you want to mix it up, so let's say Kyle Pitts, uh, Kyle Pitts catches a pass. Well, we got to uh, you know try something different. Now, the one thing, boy, I wanted the Falcons, but it's different because he 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 was a pure tight end. Remember Waller from Georgia Tech with the Raiders? Yeah, and we tried Malcolm Jenkins, Ooh. the Mario Davis. Ain't nobody stopped him. Oof. Remember we tried all the different guys. Now, uh, Dennis Allen. The Saints played can't guard that cat. Yeah, Dennis <laughs> Allen remembers that. So, I think that if Kyle Pitts, let's say, after one catch or he's having success maybe in the first quarter, no, no. Uh, but I think from the get go, uh, you play him. What I mean by in and out, in and out is like, okay, bracket, uh, b- bracket. Yeah, you, you could come and like jam him. Uh, like you know, not to get a clean release off the line of scrimmage, and then you flip your hits, your hips, and you got uh, you you know that you have help on the outside. You don't let them cross your face on the inside, or it could be vice versa. You jam them, you flip your hips out, you flip your hip, hips outside, knowing you have inside help, or you play them straight up, and you play them short and long. Be overly aggressive. And, and you're not getting a penalty. You're just being aggressive with him. Now, you can't whiff and know that uh, you're not worried about him blowing by you because you have help over the top. Do not let that guy have 100 yards receiving because they don't have enough other weapons that can exploit the Saints' defense. So you cannot let Kyle Pitts beat you simply because uh, the two guys, him and Patterson, no, Cordero but, Patterson. Yeah, but he would be more. He's going to play running back. Yeah, He's yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. their Taysom Smith, uh, uh, the, Taysom Hill. T- a combination kind of um, Alvin Kamara, Taysom Hill. Yeah. Uh, or He's like the better version and a more productive version of uh, Ty Montgomery. In obvious passing situations, especially third and medium or longer, you, who are you spying Marcus Mariota with? Well, uh, the, the, the Tyron Matthew, the, the spy with him, uh, and um, I would say uh, definitely the RPO type game that the Falcons are very capable of doing, because uh, everyone gets each other's films, and uh, Atlanta's going to try and do the concepts. The only thing is the Falcons' offensive line is not good as the Eagles' offensive line, and I can see them running the same type plays, because to help Marcus Mariota have success, they have to run. They don't have enough weapons to pass the football. But then if you can run the ball and you do bootleg, play action, you get out in space, that's why whether it's Marcus Davenport, um, whether it's Peyton Turner, uh, whether it's Cam Jordan, uh, whoever it is off the edge, you can't be overly aggressive. Do your responsibility first and contain the quarterback. Don't let him get outside you where, where he breaks containment. Because then you put too much pressure on the back end and the coverage with the secondary, and then you give them that flexibility of run-pass option. Cam Jordan describes the, the, the rushing technique as almost like a, a muddle rush where you're kind of getting it, staying to the depth of the football, right, and you want to you be able to detach from the O-line 
and keep you know stay with him. That way, if he's moving up in the pocket, you're trying to work up in the pocket. If he's right. moving back, then you're working back as well, and hopefully you can break free. And, but and, you don't want him to get outside of you. Well, and the thing is, even if you do a stunt uh, like you know T E T, let's say like um, I don't think they would do this against Mariota in particular because you want the guys who can run. Like uh, this would be more like for a pocket passer, more like you do a stunt where uh, the the end crashes hard inside and the tackle loops around him. Well, you know the quarterback can get outside maybe, uh, but are uh, those type stunts? I I don't see them doing. It'd be maybe uh, between the guards or the linebackers and the D tackles to maybe try to get pressure in the middle, but the both ends. Keep that up, up, sho- up shoulder. Uh, uh, Outside arm free. Uh, yeah, yeah, free. And that, you know what? The number one thing, he cannot get outside me. Because uh, that's when you, you're going to give up a big play. 